there. Hey, hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathleen. I am a creative director and graphic designer. I am also the former co-host of the Being Boss podcast. It's a book and podcast all about mindset, habits, and routines, work, and life of a creative entrepreneur. Now on this channel, I'm talking about everything from my own habits and routines to my work and life. I'm covering the gamut of topics. But on Instagram, there is one thing I am consistently asked about, and that is my curly hair. Now, I recently had my curls cut into this kind of 1970s Stevie Nicks inspired shag. And whenever I was looking for my own styling advice, I typed into YouTube curly hair shag routine and nothing came up. So I thought that I would give you all a detailed step-by-step -step look into how I wash and style my curls. Now, before we begin on this curly journey together, what I want you to know is that what works for me might not work for you. No two curl patterns are the same, but what I do want is for you to embrace your curls, embrace your texture. I do have one big game-changing tip that really took my curls to the next level. It is completely free. It's not super easy. You'll see why. Stay tuned. So let's dive in. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to brush out my hair. So this hair here is just up in a bun. It's probably on day four or five post wash. And I'm just gently brushing out from the bottom of my hair up to the roots. And I'm just being super gentle, trying to get all of the curls and tangles out. Now you can see here that my hair texture is very frizzy. It is just really thick, really curly, really frizzy. After I brush it out, I'm going to mist it with just a spray bottle. And I'm going to use Olaplex number three. It's kind of like a pre-conditioner on my hair. I'm going to let that set for about 10 minutes while I make my kid a snack or go peruse Instagram a little bit. All right, now it's time to hop in the shower. My first step is that I do wash with a scalp medicated shampoo. This shampoo was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. You might try different ones or see with your hairdresser what kind of scalp shampoo would work best for you. Now I'm only working this into my scalp. I'm not trying to get it into my hair very much. I just bought this scalp brush and I love the way that it feels on my scalp. I let that sit for just a minute or two to let it do its thing on my scalp and then I rinse that out. Next up, I'm going to wash with Olaplex shampoo. Now on this shampoo, I'm really making sure to rub it into my palms, really get it emulsified into my hands so that I can evenly distribute it across my scalp and then down into my hair. I'm using the scalp brush again just because it feels so nice, but I'm also being very gentle to not do any damage to my hair as it is a little bit more vulnerable whenever it's wet. Next up, I'm going to condition with Olaplex conditioner. Now with this conditioner, I like to use quite a bit and I start down toward the bottom of my hair and then work my way up into the roots so that the majority of the conditioner is getting into toward the bottom of my hair. Now I really like Olaplex, but again, you might check with your trusted hairdresser to see what shampoo and conditioner is best for you and your hair type. Now I'm rinsing out this conditioner and I'm rinsing it out really well. That's an important part of this process, is making sure that I'm getting everything out of my hair. All 
right, now it's time for the game changing tip. You all are not going to like this one, but it involves turning the shower all the way cold. We're talking turn that knob all the way and the water is freezing cold. Now I love a cold shower and maybe I'll do a whole other YouTube video on this, but I like to stand under the cold shower and completely saturate my hair with cold water. Oh. Oh my God. Now I don't know entirely the science behind this, but I think what it does is it really closes off the cuticle. I imagine it kind of you know, shut it like shutting the door on my hair and really trapping in all of the moisture and conditioning that I've just put into it. And y'all, this is really cold. So I like to stand under the cold shower for about two minutes. It has really great benefits on my mental health, on my body. I just really enjoy it. Well, I hate to enjoy it. I love to hate it. You know what I mean. Now, the times that I haven't done the cold shower rinse, my curls have not been as fabulous. They've been a little bit more frizzy, which again, I like, and it's a vibe, and I'm not always in the mood for a cold shower, so I'll rock it. And you can, you don't have to do your whole body. You can just do your curls, like just get your scalp in there, but it really does make them look so good. Just try it and let me know how it works for you. Okay, now that the cold shower is over, it is time to start prepping my hair for the curls. The first thing I do is I put in this Moroccan Curl Deep Conditioner Cream. I am not brand loyal whenever it comes to this sort of thing. The Moroccan Curl Cream is just what I'm trying out right now. So I'm really just using a couple of small pumps of this, really squeezing it into my hair, starting toward the bottom and then really working my way up. Now I'm going to put in some mousse. I'm using quite a big handful of it and really trying to evenly distribute it in my hair. I'm also really trying to scrunch it in as I go. Next up, I've been really enjoying this Verb Curl Cream. Really go for a little bit more product than you think you need, or at least this is what works for me. And again, I'm putting it in my hands and really trying to emulsify it between my palms before I put it into my hair. This just helps me kind of get it more evenly distributed. Again, my hair is very textured, very porous, so it can handle a lot of product. So I used to really want to be able to step out of the shower, air dry my hair, and for my curls to look like they do right now. But I have found that the only way to get my curls looking the way that I want them to look is by using a lot of product, even more than I think that I need. So I'm really working this curl cream into my hair and now I'm starting to kind of scrunch to create that curl pattern. Now I'm going to plop my hair into this hair turban towel situation. Okay, so now with my hair up in the towel, I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. All right, so after about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to take my hair out of the towel. Now, during this part, I'm really just trying to get my curls where I want them to be without touching them too much. So I'm just readjusting my curls just enough to get them in place. I've recently started using these little clips to clip my hair out of my face a little bit and to help my curls dry the way that I want them to around my face. Now I'm going to let my curls air dry for about two to three more hours. It would take probably eight hours for my hair to totally air dry on its own, but getting it to about 70 to 80% dry is what I'm going for here. But if I need to, I'll hit it with the diffuser and I could do that at this point. It's probably, I would say 
60% dry. I'm going to keep letting it air dry for a little while, but I will show you all what it looks like whenever I diffuse it. Now there is a thing called a gel cast. You might know this if you've been looking at a lot of curly girl routines. It's where your hair is kind of shiny and crunchy because of the gel that you used. So at this point, I really want to break up that gel cast. And I like to do this by using a diffuser. Using the hair dryer with the diffuser really helps me to get my hair to have the volume that I want it to have and to really break up that sheen. So I find that by diffusing it on medium speed at medium heat is what works best for me. This takes a little while. Even with my hair being 70 to 80% dry, I would say that this process takes between five to 10 minutes. Now I am not about the curly girl method because I like a little bit of texture. I also like shampoo that suds up, which is curly girl sacrilege. I like it, I can't help it. So I'm not a strict curly girl routine person. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, but I like a little bit of texture in my hair. I like a little bit of frizz. I do like my curls to really clump together, but I also like for there to be a little bit more of a bigger, wild, natural feeling to it. is good to go. Right now I'm rocking second day hair. So I filmed all of that yesterday and I slept on it and this is what I have today. I love my second day hair and I do sleep with it up in just a silk scrunchie very loosely at night. And then on day two, whenever I bring it down, it's full of body, full of volume. It's as big as I can get it. And I love the day two. I can start to rock this into day three and even day four, but I find that by day four or day five, my curls either need a refresh or I just need to do this whole process over again. All right, that is it for my curly shag routine. If you all like this video, please be sure to hit like. If you have any other tips or tricks that you would like to recommend, please let me know in the comments.